Hello, welcome to the latest edition of Share Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking to Martin Whitaker, the Chief Executive of Diurnal. So you specialise in endocrinology. So what's the big areas of treatment and how big is the potential market? Yeah, so endocrinology is, uh, is all about uh, hormone therapeutics and it's a multi-billion dollar opportunity. And the area that Diurnal is specifically targeting is around one particular hormone, cortisol, which is essential for life and particularly around diseases of cortisol deficiency, which is a market uh, which is estimated to be over 3 billion uh, US dollars per annum in both Europe um, and in the US. And Dianol's focus is on developing uh, products um, in, this, um, in this area to treat the two main diseases of cortisol deficiency. The first is a genetic disease called congenital adrenal hyperplasia, CAH for short, presents at birth. Uh, patients have two issues. One is that they have high androgens or sex hormones in their body, which cause damage to the body. And um, the second symptom is that they have chronic fatigue. And there's a second disease of cortisol deficiency, which is um, adrenal insufficiency. And that's estimated to be a much bigger market, around $2.7 billion per annum. Uh, and that's where patients lose the ability to produce cortisol during their lifetime. Um, and the main symptom of adrenal insufficiency uh, is, uh, is chronic fatigue. So really, Dianol has two lead products. The first product is a pediatric product called Alkindi, uh, which, is, uh, which is for children, uh, and a second product, uh, Chronocort, which aims to treat both of these diseases from birth through to old age. So you recently announced your full year results. What commercial progress has been made with your lead product, Alkindi? Well, we're delighted with the progress that's been made with, uh, with our lead product, um, Alkindi. We announced our results at the end of uh, September 2019. Um, and Alkindi is a product we've um, now commercialised ourselves in Europe. And that makes Dionel one of a few UK biotech companies that have taken a product um, all the way through concept, through regulatory approval uh, and into commercialisation. So at the end of September, we reported in our first full year of commercial sales of Alkindi, uh, sales of over £1 million uh, uh, sterling, uh, and that was uh, generally ahead of analysts' consensus. Alkindi is launched in Germany, it's launched in the UK uh, and Austria, uh, Sweden uh, and Denmark, and we've got further launches planned uh, in other territories where we've secured pricing, uh, such as uh, Italy, uh, Norway and Iceland to come uh, through 2019 and 2020. So how are your plans progressing for further registrations of Alkindi and your second product, Chronocort? So our plans um, are progressing uh, very well in other territories outside of Europe. So if I begin with Alkindi, um, for Alkindi, we've had some very productive discussions uh, with the US regulator, the, uh, the FDA, um, and we will submit a new drug application. That's our registration package this quarter with the, with the FDA, and we anticipate that we should have a positive outcome uh, sometime towards 2020. Uh, that NDA submission is very important for us at Dianal because that will trigger um, uh, and, and bring to a conclusion uh, partnering discussions with US partners. Although we're commercializing Alkindi in Europe, um, we believe the best way to commercialize Alkindi in the US is with a partner and really the NDA submission will catalyze those discussions and we hope to announce something um, in uh, the first half of 2020. Regarding our second product, uh, Chronocort, the pathway to uh, regulatory approval has already been mapped out in Europe. We had a very productive meeting with a regulator earlier on this year. And again, this quarter, uh, we aim to submit our market authorization application um, to, um, to the European regulator, the European Medicines Agency, for Chronocort in, in the genetic disease, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. We've also had some further uh, feedback from the European Medicines Agency in the use of Chronocort um, for the wider disease, uh, adrenal insufficiency. And again, we have the, uh, the routes mapped out, the regulatory routes mapped out uh, through to registration for that product, uh, which should occur towards the end of 2021, 2022. Are there any other treatment areas which you think are underserved and where you are developing new drugs? So at Diana, we look at um, a whole range of um, different opportunities in the endocrine space. We've identified a number of areas where you know, patient needs are, are underserved, uh, particularly in the hyperthyroidism, uh, a prevalent uh, disease 
in women, particularly over 60, and also in Cushing's disease, which is the opposite of cortisol um, deficiency, and that's the disease of cortisol excess, where we have an orphan drug designation um, uh, in Europe. Um, however, our next product that has entered clinical trials is our oral native testosterone uh, therapy called a dye test. And this is a 24 patient trial in the target patient population, so in hypergonadal men, so men with low testosterone. And that trial concluded earlier on this year, uh, and again we'll read out uh, this quarter. And really, this, the dye test trial builds on very encouraging preclinical data uh, that we've seen, where dye test shows a very good um, absorption. Um, into the bloodstream, importantly in the absence um, of food when compared to other oral modified um, testosterone therapies which are available on the market. So if we see um, a similar readout from our, from our clinical study in patients which shows this a very encouraging food effect, then certainly we believe we have a potentially a very valuable opportunity which we can take forward, particularly uh, in the US where the route uh, is mapped out with a regulator going down a very specialist route called the 505B2 route. So I think to summarise, um, really this uh, quarter 4 2019 is a very exciting uh, time for Dianal. We have a number of key uh, milestones uh, coming up. As I mentioned, we've got the dye test uh, study readout. We've got the Alkindi uh, NDA in the US and the European um, MAA for Chronocourt on this side of the pond. Thanks very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching.